ferret hunting paca. The Mustelidae family is the weasel family, which includes otters, badgers, skunks, pine martens, polecats, wolverines, and more. Domestic ferrets, similar to domestic dogs, have many differences than their wild counterparts, though, including an inability to function on their own in the outdoors. The only wild ferret left is called the black footed ferret, and they live in prairie dog burrows. Black footed ferrets once roamed North America, making their homes in grassy areas. As recently as the 1970s, black footed ferrets were considered extinct, but 120 were found in Wyoming in the mid 1980s. Unfortunately, two disease outbreaks wiped out most of the remaining population, and the last 18 were captured for a breeding program. In 2006, the offspring of those 18 were released in eight reintroduction sites in the United States and Mexico, where they're making a comeback, according to the Arizona Game and Fish Department. These animals are true recyclers. They make their homes from old prairie dog tunnels and the burrows of other animals. Each black-footed ferret requires around 100 to 120 acres of living space to find adequate food, according to the ADW. Domesticated ferrets usually live in cages, but need at least four hours per day to run outside of their cages. They also thrive in temperatures that are between 50 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Black-footed ferrets belong to the species of ferrets that are found in North America. No particular subcategory is found under these animals. The animals are very ferocious, capable of attacking other animals no matter what happens, and this includes the wild cats, snakes, and lizards, among others. This ferret comes out of the forest straight toward a bale. The pack is an animal that doesn't have predatory habits, and in this case it doesn't even know how to fight. The people who witnessed this event did nothing to defend the unfortunate paca. Would you have defended the paca, or would you have let nature take its way?